pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So I'll, I'll make it official so that our recording is easy to uh, ascertain where the meeting actually starts. So uh, this is the uh, December 4th meeting of the Board of Selectmen. So uh, motion to approve the agenda. I'll second the motion. Oh, you, you made the motion? Or oh, I was seconding the motion. Were you asking for a motion? I was asking for a motion. Oh, sorry. I'll make the motion. <laughs> I'll second the motion. Thank you. Um, <laughs> one thing I want to add is, and it's my omission because I forgot to add 7E, which was the cemetery committee discussion. Is there any other additions, changes? Hearing none, all in favor of approving the agenda as amended? Aye. Aye. Okay. Item three is the approval of the minutes from the special meeting of November 20th, 2019. Has everyone had a chance to review the minutes? Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the regular meeting, the special meeting of November 20th, 2019 as written. Discussion? Oh, wait, excuse me. I need a second. Second. Discussion. I did not see any problems. No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, I do not have any correspondence, so we can move right along to first selectman's report. And uh, <coughs> it's been a busy uh, couple weeks here. We threw a holiday in in the middle there to. Uh, Get everybody plump, and uh, we have a few things ongoing, but uh, nothing of real excitement going on right now. So uh, we'll uh, move right along to uh, responses from previous meeting questions. And uh, outside of uh, Prairie wanting the item 7E added, which we did, I think we're okay. Any? I don't think I missed anything there. So citizens' concerns, Chris. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Select. Congratulations to all of you on your election. Thank you. Um, can you kindly update us on the status of Hemlock Valley Road that has now been closed for some 14 months? It's a road that goes from <laughs> Bone Mill. <Yeah. laughs> well, it did at one time. Uh, so um, recently, and I'm going to say within the last week and a half, uh, they did core borings down there to ascertain if there actually was slippage and that was the big concern that the road had uh, due to all the flooding back 14 months ago had uh, eroded and caused it, the road to tip towards the brook. Uh, there are some suggestions that or supposition that because of the tipped railing that's what had happened though the evidence from my perspective did not reflect that. So the core boring was done to uh, ascertain whether that occurred. We know they hit ledge and not very far down, three feet in one spot approximately from what I heard. Uh, but we don't have the final results in yet. So if the core boring indicates that there was no real slippage, then we will diligently work together to get the flex beam repaired, straightened up, new post driven in, and the road open. Very much. It's nice to hear. Any other questions from the audience? If you're looking for Santa, he's not in this room. He's down the <laughs> hall and down towards the uh, gym. So great to see so many people here at these meetings. So. <clears throat> so, um, we're going to move very rapidly through 7A, B, C, and D because 
Uh, we were reviewing it over the holidays, and one of the selectmen was, or select woman, was very sick <laughs> during most of that period. Yeah. So uh, we will postpone uh, further discussion till the next meeting. Um, I've asked her to move a little bit further away, just so I don't get anything. <laughs> but uh, the uh, so I will uh, say seven A, seven B, seven C, and seven D. Move things right along. Will be postponed. Discuss at, at our next meeting. Everyone concurs with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Seven uh, E, the cemetery committee. Uh, I've talked to uh, one of the members of the existing committee, uh, Deb Dinette, and I believe this meeting has been scheduled for the 19th of this month to have further discussions. Um, I recommended some things be added to their charge, proposed charge, or the charge they're thinking about so that we can uh, finally move forward on this and uh, resolve some of the issues that have been uh, hanging for a while. Uh, 40 years or so. So um, the um, it's it's one of those things that I think uh, needs to be addressed, and I'm glad to see that you're working on it. So, uh, Barry, is there anything you want to bring up on that? No, it's a, it's a public meeting. It's a scheduled meeting. It will be posted. It's in meeting room six at 5 uh, p.m. on the 19th. Meeting room six in this building. But I was I'm trying to. I think that's outside. <laughs> oh, it's the small three person meeting room. Oh, that, that, that one. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Cafe. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. It was a meeting of Carlene's to, to meet it with her. The cemetery. Her people, like, you know. it, it's the cemetery commission. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I thought it was more now, your I, I, brief to them. So uh, I'm, Deb called I had me. forgotten about where that meeting room was. So, okay. so if you feel it's going to need more room, then please yeah. contact Linda. <laughs> we'll need to move that. Yes. So, which is possible. Uh, I think it's possible. I'm not sure where you would be, but uh, we'll. I'll find a place. We'll find a place for you. Yeah. We can all remember. We can always split this, and yep. If worst came to worst. You could always have it in my office or something, too. So, okay. All right. Item 8A. Homeland Security Memorandum of Agreement Resolution. We do this every year. Um, I think you have had a chance to review this? Yeah. <coughs> okay. So... Um, this is a regional collaboration grant, and the funding goes to our Region 3... REPT, which is the, um, I forgot to know what REPT is. Well, it has to do with emergency management, so, and it benefits all the Region 3 towns. So, uh, I'll make a motion to recommend the adoption of the following resolution. Resolved that the town of East Haddam may enter into, with, and deliver to the State of Connecticut Department of Emergency Services and Public Protection Division of Emergency Management and Homeland Security any and all documents which it deems to be necessary or, or appropriate and further resolve that Robert R. Smith as the first selectman of the town of East Haddam is authorized and directed to execute and deliver any and all documents on behalf of the town of East Haddam and to do and perform all acts and things which he deems to be necessary or appropriate to carry out the terms of such documents including but not limited to executing delivering all agreements and documents contemplated by such documents. Can I have a second, please? I'll second that. Discussion. All in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you. Called Regional Emergency Planning Team. Thank you. Regional <coughs> Emergency Planning Team. I'm sure it was in this document here somewhere. Thank you. And of course, the new document must be submitted electronically. So um, the next item, stop 8B, regarding a stop sign request out on the Connell Road Extension, Active Cemetery, and Lake Hayward Town Road. 
Um, the traffic flow has significantly increased due to the uh, paving and widening of Ackley Cemetery Road, excuse me, O'Connell Road Extension, uh, so that people coming from Ackley Cemetery Road zip right through the intersection and go onto O'Connell Road Extension as part of uh, become a shortcut to the Route 16 in Colchester. Um, the problem is, is that people coming down Lake Hayward Road and past the cemetery and turning left onto Ackley Cemetery Road also do not stop. So uh, the fact that uh, I was there and watched three cars go fl flying up uh, Ackley Cemetery Road onto O'Connell Road Extension uh, made it very obvious that we were looking at a potential accident there. So uh, <clears throat> I asked Mr. Ventress to go out and look at some sight lines. They are very inadequate, uh, and this traffic is actually moving well beyond the 25 mile per hour uh, signage that I believe that I, I yes is there. So uh, I'd like to make a motion. Well, if uh, any questions on the part of that part of it. We've recommended uh, some locations for the stop signs, stop bars, and uh, stop signs ahead. So, or excuse me, stop ahead signs. So, uh, just to make this intersection safer, we are authorized under statute 14-297, section 6, to be our traffic authority for this town. And... Uh, No. Yeah, well, yeah. so so is it um, a speeding problem? No, it's just a sight line and, and contra intersecting traffic that neither has to stop. And because of the sight lines, it's guaranteed we're going to have an accident there. Okay. Stop signs are not allowed to be used for speed enforcement. Right. That's why I asked the question. Yeah. 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 So, anything else? No. Okay. Uh, so... I'll make a motion to approve the installation of a three-way stop sign at the intersection of Connor Road Extension, Ackley Cemetery, and Lake Hayward Town Road. Second? I'll second the motion. Further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 So I will forward this information and the motion to do our... Uh, Public Works Superintendent for installation in the very near future. Uh, I really think this is uh, this was actually brought to my attention probably six weeks ago as a at a me meeting for a different organization, and they had a question about it, and uh, so I had a chance to stop and look at it a while back, and it is uh, obvious that it is a real hazard. So, okay, so. Almost every meeting we have some changes in our committees. And the first one we'll be discussing tonight is the uh, is regarding uh, an email from uh, Commissioner Jennifer Spencer that the Board of Fire Commissioners would like to recommend reappointment of Bruce Dutch for a second three-year term on the Board of Fire Commissioners. Uh, Bruce has agreed to do a second term, so... This one? Yeah, I'll make the motion to reappoint Bruce Dutch for a second three-year term to expire January 1st, 2023 as a member of the Board of Fire Commissioners. Is there a second? A second. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Excellent, thank you. And on the Conservation Commission, there's been some changes there. Um, you'll see in your packet some correspondence from uh, yours truly uh, regarding the Conservation Commission. Uh, so, uh, would you like to make the first motion? Since it regards me, I'll let somebody else do it. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, motion made, um, 
seconded by well, uh, you're Larry, just, yeah, so going, you're gonna make the to motion. accept the resignation of Robert Smith from the Conservation Commission effective as of December 17, 2019. I'll second the motion. Um, is there any discussion on that? I hope not, because I'm leaving. <laughs> so, uh, all in favor? Favor, yeah. Aye. Thank Aye. you. Uh, I'd like to make a motion, and I'm assuming you both had a chance to look at this, mm -hmm. um, to change the status of Bernard Gillis from alternate member to regular member to fill a vacancy effective December 17th with a term to expire June 30, 2021 on the Conservation Commission. I second the motion. Discussion? No. No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll make a motion to appoint Susan Pagnano as an alternate member to fill a vacancy with a term to expire June 30th, 2021 on the Conservation Commission. I'll second the motion. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. Strangely, we have no tax refunds this evening. <laughs> I don't know, we may be going for a record, folks. <laughs> uh, more public comment. Anything else, Chris? <laughs> We're good? Okay, excellent. Anyone else? Yes, sir, Mr. Bashing. When you discuss the citation hearing procedures and ordinance discussion, that policy, will that allow the town to keep some of the fees or funds or fines that police officers charge for speeding or talking on your cell phone or running a stop sign? So there's certain things that, yes, any fines that the town officers enforce, or actually a resident trooper could use them, or, or the canine officer, excuse me, the, uh, the uh, dog warden, uh, animal control mm -hmm. officer, as long as they recognize anything, uh, ordinance that we, rec excuse me, as long as a citation, which will be different than the ones that, the infractions that we use now for Police uh, for speeding tickets, etc. As long as they reference the, the ordinance number, uh, which will be part of the citation, the monies would come to the town. Great. Good. Chris? Do have one point, Rob. What happened to first selectman? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're old in office now. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> During the replacement of the Bone Mill Bridge, yes. damage was done to the lawn at the North School. Okay. Previous administration had indicated that money was held back from payment to the contractor until they would come and fix that. It has not been fixed. Um, we would be happy to fix it and charge the town if you would like us to do that. But I don't know if money was held back. That's just what was stated at a previous meeting. If you could... I will check into that. I wasn't aware of any issues there, but, sure. but I will check into it and see how best to address it. Thank you very much. Uh, can you tell me, does it just... Is it just grass was ripped up, or what well, was it? Well, there's, there's ruts and depressions, and people parked there, and somebody could fall getting out of their car, and all this stuff we okay. went through when it happened now some time ago. All right, let me check on that, and uh, we'll have that information for Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Um, anything the selectmen would like to discuss? I'm, I'm good. You're good? Yeah. Same. Okay. You know, this is, there isn't another Thanksgiving next week or anything like that. You know? uh, okay. I just want, <laughs> thought maybe everybody wanted to get home really quick. Uh, so, oh, wait a minute. Santa. I know. It's Santa. <laughs> um, okay. Well. We have a number of things upcoming. This is the holiday season, and uh, we're going to stuff a trooper. I mean, excuse me, stuff a resident trooper's cruiser. Uh, they have their toy drive coming up uh, December 7th from 9 to 4. Uh, the event will be held in the parking lot out here, uh, and uh, it's a... Uh, New unwrapped toys are needed for children from infants to age 18. In addition to toys, donations of hats, gloves, 
Scarves and socks and other clothing are needed for children of all ages. We ask that only new unopened items be donated. We are unable to use anything that is old, opened, or used, so keep that in mind. All donations will be distributed through East Haddam Youth and Family Services to children within this community. And if you know of any family in East Adam or Moodus that is in need of assistance during the holiday with gifts for their children, they should contact Tony McCabe at East Adam Youth and Family Services. And they can be reached at 860-873-3296. It's in the phone book. So um, if you also have any questions about the Stuff a Cruiser event, please contact Officer Jeff Rhodes at 860-891-8200. Or you can also email uh, your query to police at easthaddam.org. Again, it's going to be right out here in the parking lot on December 7th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And it's amazing how many, how generous our town is when they, uh, the, all the different gifts and the quantity of gifts that they donate. It's quite amazing. Also, if you want, this is going to be a uh, going to be a lovely sunny day on Saturday. Uh, maybe only in twenty degrees or so, but it's going to be a sunny day. Uh, we have the East Haddam Village Stroll. It's December seventh, also from two to five p.m. And you'll be able to stroll from the Rathbun Library to the Goodspeed Opera House. And they have all sorts of festive. Festive activities ongoing for all ages. We have carols, craft sales. Santa is going to come back just for this event uh, and more. Uh, there's going to be reindeer games. Uh, probably has a different connotation than the other movie or whatever it was. Uh, the holiday market, carriage rides, Kringle Fest beer garden. For those over 21. Maple Sugar Shack. Holiday Shopping Bazaar, Lions Club Silent Auction, Cookies and Karaoke by the tri -M Honor Society, Deep River Junior Ancient Fife and Drum Corps, Strolling High School Carolers, a Holiday String Trio, and the Flute Loops. That's F-L-U-T-E, Loops. Um, and uh, don't forget the carriage ride, so... Uh, and there's even a picture of Santa flying over the good speed. So, uh, if you, this, Mr. Hollihan, is this information in, the, in this week's paper? Yep. Thank you. There's a little map. Is the map in there too? No. What kind of a paper is it? Does it have a map? <laughs> They, they didn't send it. To oh, they didn't send it to you. Okay. Well, anyway, there is information here. Yes, ma'am. Would you be able to drive through and go across the bridge while this is going? Yes, through? yes. Traffic will be able to move. Yes, we will not be closing the traffic. It's hard enough to get across the bridge yes, at any time. So. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I believe these sheets. Oh, yeah. There are, I'm yeah. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, this is a copy of that. Right. <laughs> I knew That's I'd a... seen that somewhere. Okay. Thank you, Linda. And <clears throat> one of the most important meetings of the year. And uh, almost historically <laughs> poorly attended is our tri board meeting, uh, which is part of our budget process where we bring the boards of finance, board of education, and board of selectmen together. And um, it's, uh, it's an important way for people to find out what's being discussed, where we're going. There'll be a PowerPoint presentation and primarily we're there to get input from the citizens of the town. And we sincerely, many of you will be there, but I believe last year we had a total of three people. So uh, out of 9,300 or whatever, that's too small to even figure out the percentage. So, uh, and one person thanked us for uh, having the meeting. <laughs> that was the only comment. So, um, it's uh, Monday, December 9th. 
right in this room at 7 p.m. It's a special meeting. So uh, I encourage that if you can't attend and you have some questions, that you um, have someone come with your questions. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a good way to find out. It's the, primarily, it's a way for us, being the selectmen, the Board of Finance, and the Board of Education, to find out what people are thinking, what their concerns are. And we hope that uh, you know, we'll be able to address some of them or uh, take them under consideration. Uh, there's always things that we can't think of, don't think of, and uh, that's why we really look forward to having public input. So uh, I know Mike said he was going to be here. And uh, no, you didn't, Mike? <laughs> I'll be here. All right, there you go. So uh, the, uh, it's, uh, again, really, uh, we would like to have a nice showing of uh, citizens here. Any thoughts on that? No. I'll be there. No. No, looking forward to it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's hope that we won't outnumber everyone about six to one and then we'll be the other way around. So if we get this many people to come, it would be very nice. So that's again next Monday, the 9th, in this room, 7 p.m. So... <clears throat> Anything else for the good of the order? No. Short meeting. If not, <laughs> there apparently is no further business to discuss. I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting at 7.26 p.m. Second? Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. It's not a record. Sorry. <laughs> Almost, though. Todd, I'm sorry you came. Go home. Yeah, what did I miss? <laughs> Todd, you got.